This project is certainly not a routine project. It is, in fact, uh, quite unique uh, just in the scale and the dimension we are talking about. It's not just the dimension which is unique, but it is also with the complexity and poor quality of the samples which make the whole thing a challenge. Under tropical climate, the DNA of these remains is in a very bad shape by now. So highly degraded DNA, you have microbial contamination and you have a lot of inhibition through the contact with soil. There is a lot of learning process, that's for sure. One needs to find out what type of remains can be typed relatively easily or what type of remains are in such a bad shape that with classical methods these samples cannot be processed or these individuals cannot be identified. I believe that Kaijin has the uh, most complete workflow and actually the most competence to be able to support such a project. These devices allow a very intuitive and a simple use. They are very efficient. The protocols have been customized for this specific application. This obviously facilitates the use of the instrument in such a scale. I want it to be successful, not me personally only, but also many people want this to be successful. It is a project which has not just a national importance for Vietnam, but an international importance to set a signal how important it is to deal with the past in an appropriate way.